What's happening? I don't know. Unless... Uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yeah. Local accountant beaten. Left for dead. Local accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're gonna kill my grandpa? Tannen's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's a time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born, and neither will you, unless... When did you last see your grandfather? Four o'clock, in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving before the police find us. Freeze! Ah. Step out of the car with your hands up. He hasn't spotted me yet. That's right, Doc. Keep him off balance. I can't let him know I'm here. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan, the speakeasy arsonist. A legend speakeasy arsonist, if you don't mind. What the heck kind of buggy is that? Stay back! It's a prototype, still untested, liable to blow up at any moment. Or suddenly take off without warning! Is that so? Where are the keys? What is it, some kind of foreign job? A German or something? Not at all. This is solid American workmanship. There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. Looks like something out of Buck Rogers. A year from now, everybody will be driving these babies. Huh. Now I'm sure something's back there. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a... The keys to the DeLorean. Promotion this notebook in this. has all of Doc's You're plans for the Flux Capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure That's it never falls into the wrong hands. Here. This is bad. This notebook has all of Doc's cool plans for the Flux Capacitor and the DeLorean. Get here. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. I'd like to get a closer look at that getaway car. What's that? Off in those bushes. Huh? I didn't hear anything. I thought it was my henchman returning, but you're probably right. It was nothing. Henchman, you say? Hmm. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Hmm. Stop! Stop! Go! Save your grandfather! 
I'll be fine until you get back. You got it, Doc. What was that? Four fifty-five. Artie's got to be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. There he is. All I got to do is get to him before. Mr. Callahan. I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. My sources indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? My grandpa needs me as a character witness to get a fishing license. Oh, well then, carry on. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know. Sure, no problem. On yesterday, Marty, stop talking, get moving. Einstein? Einstein, what is it, boy? Go away, boy! Crap! Einstein! Is it a squirrel, Liney? You want to play? Okay, let's play. Want the stick, boy? Want to chase it? What are you up to, Liney? Go get it, boy. Where are you going, boy? You're killing me, Heine. Want the stick, boy? Want to chase it? Okay, let's try this again. Is it a squirrel, Heine? <laughs> 